My name is Sherry Johnson. And I'm Cindy Hedrick, and we're sisters. And she's the oldest, not really. I am. She's the oldest. <laughs> I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer on May of 15, and I started coming here last summer when I got to a stage four. And I started doing some vitamin C treatments, the MAHS, the ozone. I've been treating the breast cancer holistically for three years and um, the vitamin C helped with the pain, the everything, the, the ozone helped tremendously with the pain. I had a large tumor about the size of a cantaloupe and um, I did the holistic path all the way and then it was time for me to go into the medical route. I believe that now that I've done six rounds of chemo, had the surgery to remove the tumor that ended up being massive, um, I breathed through chemo and it's because of what I did to my body. The vitamin C, the ozone, the eating right, the, the supplements, everything, it's the whole package. Now I'm moving on to radiation. The amazing thing is I was diagnosed stage four metastatic breast cancer the day I started chemo. I had two tiny lesions on my lungs. I have no tiny lesions on my lungs. The biopsy showed no cancer in my lymph nodes. How is that possible? I don't know, but I believe it's because of all the holistic stuff that I did leading up to that point. It's like it was preparing my body for, for the harder things that were going to happen to it. And this week I'm going to get another vitamin C as I prepare to go into radiation. So wonderful things, helps with pain, helps kill all kinds of things in your body. I would rec highly recommend it to anybody for my story. And I'm doing great now, just moving on to the next stage of my life. Well, I've had many health issues over the years, one of them being diabetes and then of course um, the diabetic retinopathy with the eyes. Um, I had problems with arthritis and just lived in pain pretty much every single day. Some days the pain was tolerable, some days it was overwhelming. Um, and so um, I've known Dr. Amy for a while and when my sister started coming here I started thinking well you know maybe I should try some of this stuff too. And um, I did some of the therapies too and they helped me feel a lot better. But then the opportunity to do stem cell came about. And I know a lot of times people don't think well of stem cell because it comes from the umbilical cord and all that. But you know, Dr. Amy assured me that the stem cell was legit. It didn't come from aborted babies. I got a certificate when I came that day stating where it came from and all that. But I have to share this. One of the best parts the day that I came to do my stem cell is I told Amy I wanted to pray over it before before we took it and she said, I've already been praying for it. But you know what, we laid hands and we prayed over that stem cell before it went into my body and that meant so much to me. So here I am at the end of the six months, which is what they say it takes to see the full effect. And um, I didn't see a lot of progress with the diabetes, but the arthritis is gone. I don't live in pain every day. It's rare that I even take an Advil for a headache anymore. Um, so getting rid of daily pain, it, it was well worth it if I didn't get anything but that. But then it goes even one step further. For the last four or five years, every few months and weeks, I have had to have either injections in my eyes because the swelling or the bleeding, I've had multiple lasers on each eye. I went for my checkup last month and was told that my eyes looked good, they would see me in a year unless I had any difficulties. That is that first time since I found out I had diabetic retinopathy that I've gotten that report. So the stem cell worked for me. And I know it works on different parts and different things for different people, but I'm telling you, those two things are major and I'm so, so thankful. And I just wanna say also that this place is a place where people are celebrated and they do everything they can to help you. And just like today, we just came in to tell people we wanna thank them for what they did for us and how much we appreciate them. And they ask us to share our testimony. And I just wanna tell you, you won't find a better place of people working for your health, for your concerns, to help you achieve where you need to be with your health. That is true.